Okay, so my name is Kimberly Collins. I want to talk to you all today about two of my favorite things, Link and LinkPad. Um, I'm a C Sharp and SQL Server developer. I've been doing this for about 13 years. Uh, I'm currently freelancing, and uh, Carmen suggested that I talk about this. It's so hard to come up with uh, talk to topics. So uh, two of my favorite things, Link and LinkPad. I'll start with LinkPad. It, uh, you can get it at linkpad.net. It is just for Windows. I'll come back to that. Um, it's a scratch pad for C Sharp, Visual Basic.net, and F Sharp. It's also a lightweight SQL tool, and it's free. Uh, there is an optional upgrade for IntelliSense and some other features. I've done that and found it was really worth the $75 or whatever I paid. Uh, my company at the time had a training budget, so you might check to see whether your employer has that, and I was able to pay for this, and it's uh, really paid for itself. So um, some objections when I talk about how much I love LinkPad, I, I get one of these four responses if people don't already use it and love it like I do. Um, one is, oh, well, Link is in the name. I already know Link. I don't need that. Um, I'll just tell you all why that's not a valid objection. <laughs> uh, people say, oh, I don't use Link, so I don't need that. Same, we'll go over that. Um, they'll say, I'm not familiar with Link. Okay, great, we'll fix that. <laughs> or that they've never heard of it. Okay, we're fixing that too. Uh, starting with Link. So Link stands for Language Integrated Query, uh, kind of a, <laughs> a weird abbreviation. Um, it's query functionality in C Sharp and Visual Basic. Uh, Carmen mentioned that it's similar to Underscore and Lodash and JavaScript, so if you've used those, these might feel familiar. There are two syntax styles. One is query and one is method. We'll go over both of those. But first we're gonna talk about SQL just a little bit. So uh, this is just a uh, pretty basic select statement in SQL Server, um, or selecting star, which means everything, from the products table in the DBO schema, I'm calling that P. And then I'm looking at where the P list price is greater than 10, and I'm ordering by the list price. When I write these queries, I usually just type select star and then kind of start thinking about what I actually wanna do. So the, usually as I'm typing this along, just select star, whatever, we'll come back to that. And then uh, I type from, my table name, given an alias usually, where is usually what I do next, then order by, then I come back to the select and think about, okay, what do I actually want this query to return? So um, standard order for a SQL query, but I feel like the order is sort of in, in the wrong order. I think that the link syntax is better. We'll start with the from, then the where, then the order by, then do the select at the end. So. If you're coming from SQL, this syntax, the query syntax, might feel more comfortable to you than the other one that we'll look at. We're basically uh, from an alias in our um, collection name. It doesn't have to be from a table. Uh, we are filtering with a where. We are order, order by is one word here. And then we're selecting some things. And here I'm just selecting basically star. I'm selecting the, the, the products. So comparing those side by side, almost identical, uh, just the order the select part is at the end where I feel like it makes more sense anyway. So still the same pieces, just slightly different syntax. The method syntax is quite a bit different. The first one I'm showing you is from C Sharp. The second one is VB. Uh, clearly to me, the C Sharp is better than the VB. <laughs> um, C Sharp has these lambdas, so um, that's what this thing is. Uh, it's a little weird when you first start, but you can get used to it. This function, is a little weird and I have never gotten used to it. So uh, from here on out, I'll probably ignore VB, just know that you can do all these things in Visual Basic if you want to. So same thing that we were doing before, we're looking at our products, we are filtering based on the list price being greater than 10, and then we're ordering by uh, list price. If I don't select anything specific, then I'll just get the products themselves. I could only get maybe their name or the pro whatever I want. So again, this VB code is doing the same thing, but definitely more verbose like VB tends to be. Um, but it's doing the same filtering with the where and then the ordering with the where, the order by. So looking at those side by side, you might feel like in general the um, method syntax is more comfortable to you if you're coming from um, a language like JavaScript or even C Sharp. Uh, if you tend to prefer SQL, maybe the query syntax on the left feels more comfortable to you. There are times when I prefer one over the other. I'm generally gonna be using method syntax unless I'm doing something more complicated and sometimes query makes more sense to me. So you can use both and you're just gonna choose which one works better for you. Some operations we can do in link, uh, the filtering that we saw with the where, ordering we saw, we're ordering by list price. Selecting, we could, um, like I said, only select certain columns. We could um, basically project is, is the word we use to like, transform this data into like another shape, basically. Grouping is something that I've done occasionally, not super common, but every once in a while I'll need to group in a certain way that I want to do that uh, in link. I'm not gonna go over that today because it's a little complicated. And then joining. Uh, you'll do a lot of joining in SQL. You won't do as much in link. 
And that's where I prefer the query syntax. I think the method syntax is just really confusing and the query syntax is more like SQL that I'm familiar with. Uh, so those are some of the things we can do in Link. And again, this is language integrated, so it's not SQL. SQL's another language, but it's querying that's integrated into RVB or C Sharp code. So back to LinkPad. Um, you'd think from the name, oh, this is a tool for Link, and is, but it's definitely not just for Link. Uh, I use it all the time as a scratch pad for C Sharp where um, I might want to write just a little bit of code to test it out to see if it does what I think it does, but I don't want to like go into Visual Studio and find the project or find my project. That's a whole thing if I'm just like wanting to write a little bit of code. In C Sharp or VB.net, every once in a while I need to maintain some VB code and I don't quite remember how that's supposed to work. So I like to use LinkPad for that. Uh, SQL, again, uh, if I don't feel like pulling up uh, SQL Server Management Studio, I just want to do a quick query or make a quick report. This is good for that. Uh, it does F-sharp too. I keep saying I want to get into F-sharp and I haven't yet, so that doesn't get a green check mark yet. <laughs> but if you wanted to learn F-sharp, uh, I think this would be a good way to do it. So, Scratchpad for C-sharp and VB. Uh, we have three options, expressions, statements, and programs. I'll go through each of those. An expression is a single code snippet. It's not a full code statement. It's not a line of code, it's just a little piece of code. We can't use constants, variables, methods, or enums. And in C-sharp, we would generally end a statement with a semicolon, but these aren't statements, so we're not using a semicolon. And then when we run uh, our code, it will just display the result. Some examples, um, if you have a calculation that you want to do and you don't quite remember how this is going to work, you don't want to put in your code yet, you could uh, go over to LinkPad and run something like math.pow23. Um, what I use it for a lot is date-time formatting. It's hard for me to remember that um, month needs to be a capital M, and so lots of times I'll use a lowercase m. And I'll just go ahead and swing over to LinkPad and show you what it looks like and um, go through these examples really quick. So on the left, I have different connections. I'm connecting to my AdventureWorks database, and that's not super easy to see, but hopefully it makes sense. In the, uh, we have different schemas, and um, I'll show you the products table that we were looking at. It has list price, price in here somewhere. So um, I'm running a C-sharp expression. I'm connecting to the AdventureWorks database from PM products, the one we saw earlier when I run it. Uh, you'll see the results, all the different columns in the products table. I'll go through that other stuff in a minute. So that's the query syntax, the method syntax, almost identical. Uh, we'll get the same results, so it's not super exciting. And hopefully it does run, there we go. Uh, that's C-sharp, this was the VB one we looked at, I'm not gonna run it, it's gonna be the same results. But here's where I really like LinkPad is I pull it up, it's really quick, really small, as opposed to, I think a big complaint about Visual Studio is it's so bulky and big and it feels intimidating and overwhelming. Uh, I think LinkPad is great for just pulling it up, writing just a little bit of code, and just making sure that I know how MathPal works or some other little snippet of code that I wanna run. So that's an expression. This is the example I gave of what I use it for a lot is um, remembering how Comment that one out, put this one back. So this is the, maybe a date I need in, in this format that I hate, but um, lots of times you'll need dates in a particular format and it's hard to remember sometimes what that uh, MMDDYY type thing is gonna be. Um, so those are expressions. And here's where I can choose expression, statement, or program for C Sharp or for B VB, SQL, and then F Sharp is there too. I actually don't know what eSQL is, I should look into that. So those are uh, some examples of expressions. Statements, now we can have multiple lines of code. So an expression is just me one line. Uh, it's not an entire line of code. In statements for C-sharp or VB, we can use content, constants and variables. Uh, we can't pull in other uh, methods, classes, or enums though, because those are not in the same like statements. We are gonna end each line with a semicolon when we're using C-sharp. And there's a dump method uh, in, included in LinkPad that is like a big key to me of what, why I like to use it. Uh, you can basically call it on any object. So the object number one, two, three, dot dump. Um, it's just basically spitting out the results to the screen. And you can also give it a label. Uh, here is one I use a lot to see where I am in my code. And then here's another example of an object. So I'll go run those. So again, I, I chose C-sharp statements here. Actually, it's an option in LinkPad to um, switch that automatically if, it, if, it, if you're on the wrong one and you're using semicolons, it'll know this is not expression, this is statements. So just a few examples of what you can do. Uh, one, two, three, dot dump, my number, that's this first one. Here, dot dump, is just printing out the word here. And then we, what's nice is like the formatting of these things, uh, kind of gives us a little bit of um, 
just a, a nice sort of debugging tool. So here's another example of statements. Um, I can read in from the console a uh, read line of an input. I'm gonna dump what that was. I'm gonna do a try parse to see whether I can um, parse it into an int, and then I'm gonna dump out the output. So that's this. So if I give it one, two, three, um, I can see that my input was one, two, three. Try parse is true, and output is one, two, three. Great. I'm gonna write it again with something else that fails, and so I can kind of do some debugging. That's mostly what I'm doing in, in LinkPad, as opposed to writing like, you're probably not gonna be writing your production code here. Your production code, you're still gonna write in Visual Studio like normal, um, but just kind of trying things out. It's a sandbox, the sort of playground to try different things out. Uh, programs is our third option, expressions, statements, and programs. Here we can call other methods, we can uh, define classes, we can have enumerations, and again, we can still use .dump. I don't think I have a great example of that one. It was a little much. If you want to see an example, I can show you later. Um, so those are the types of things we can do with C-sharp and VB. I also really like it for SQL. You can uh, query not only a SQL Server database, but lots of other things, JSON, uh, there's several different options, but I use it a lot for SQL Server. And it's nice that I can just, like I said, query something really quick. I can do quick reporting. Um, what I like to do with this, when I, when I very first see a new database for the first time for a new project, a new client, I like to navigate their table structure and just kind of look through what types of different tables they have and how those relate to each other. One caveat is that the database does need to have primary keys and foreign keys in place. That's how it knows what these things are. And so that's one thing I'll see right away is if your table, or if your database doesn't have keys, um, that's a, a huge problem. <laughs> so uh, blue indicates it's a parent and green indicates that it's a child. So here I'm showing an example of the customer's table. It has some IDs and it has some other uh, properties. Um, the person ID points to the person table. And then we also have these other like sort of parent type tables. And then I can see that a uh, customer can have sales order headers. So that's in green and I can click those, so here we are on products. I can look at the product documents, I can um, look at the assembly bills, materials, whatever, kind of navigate through to start to get a feel for what these tables look like. If I wanna see what's in the table, I can like just take 100, um, and that will show me what bill of materials even has in it. So that can give you a good, quick idea of what's in a database. Uh, so that's, I think, what I just showed you, the querying data, um, an example here from the department table in AdventureWorks. Um, it's sometimes nice when a table has a lot of columns. You don't really want to see it horizontally. You'd rather see it vertically. So an example of that, I'm just going to do first or take one from the employees table. And so now I can see a nice vertical layout as opposed to the horizontal layout. So if you're wanting to get started with LinkPad, the way you would do that, if you're on Windows, you would go to linkpad.net and download the latest version. It comes with some samples. So here are uh, my queries, nice name there, samples. Um, if you're just wanting to get started, it has sort of an intro that walks you through how these things work, an introduction to the, basically the uh, examples I showed you. Uh, it has a what's new in C-sharp 7. If you're wanting to get started with C-sharp, if you're totally new to it, uh, you might try um, just pulling up LinkPad, uh, doing these types of expressions. I think it'll help give you a feel for uh, how C Sharp works, also the statements. Um, I keep saying I'm gonna run through this F Sharp tutorial and I never have, so maybe someday. Um, if you are new to Link, it has some Link examples, so we looked at some filtering. And again, this is not coming from a database, it could come from a database, or you could just be looking at, this is an array of, of strings. So, um, I would recommend if you're wanting to look more on the database side, get you a copy of AdventureWorks, Northwind, something like that, set that up on your computer and start uh, navigating through the table structure using those built-in Take 100 or where uh, to get a feel for how Link works or you could just use SQL if you want to. Um, when I was looking at whether you can do this on a Mac and you can't, I came across Rosalind Pad, and so I like haven't had a chance to look at that at all, but it does say that it is uh, cross-platform and it looks very similar, so I have not checked this out at all, but uh, it might be something to check into. If you have any questions about any of this, uh, feel free to join the OKC Sharp and OKC SQL channels. Those are both the local groups that I'm part of that are relevant to this, or you can message me there in Slack, Kimberly Collins. Do y'all have any questions about this right now? Nope, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs>